Berserk Fury. It's wild that I've built and owned all of my favourites aside from this one. In fact, I've never even built one until this boyo. So let's dive on in. That's your liven things up. So being the repacked version, they address an apparent issue with the legs not being able to bear its own weight in certain joint locations, and I'm happy to say they've done really well. More on this later. The kit has a decent amount of sprues which are quite smartly set out so as you progress into the build, it aims to cull the sprue count naturally and free up build space on your work area, which I really appreciate. There were only a couple of minor areas when building that didn't really sit together well and seemed to want to pop apart, which I checked and checked again and I couldn't find anything that should cause it, so a little trimming helped to fix these issues. Price-wise, the Fury is available between 150 to 200 Australian dollars depending on where you go, and if it's on sale, such as at the time of this video being posted, you can get a Berserk Fury for mid-130s delivered from Frontline Hobbies eBay store with a voucher. The build time will of course vary between users, and being my first Fury, I did it in one session, which took about 4.5 hours to build and basic panel line. However, if you're new to HMM Zoids, it will most likely be more, and this isn't something to worry about. On the topic of new users, my advice on this model is don't be put off by the size and the amount of parts. The steps are very user friendly, and it does a brilliant job of showing you where the direction of the pieces need to face, so just make sure that you double check the diagrams and you'll be fine. You've got this. For my panel lining basics, I use Citadel's Nuln Oil and wipe away any excess. I just prefer the finished look personally. Now I'll chime out for the moment and I'll be back with a couple of picks at the end.
So I'll start off with these images. The fix that they did to the legs by switching to ABS rings makes it super sturdy and as you can see, I got mine to balance on one leg as a bit of a test. I'm really happy with this little fella though, it's a brilliant kit and I currently have him in a dumb pose with a previous Kodo kit that I did, because why not? Anyhow, thanks for watching, take it easy.